What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Pi uh, Peyton, who's bringing a really cool team, the Nigalio, Cinderace, Loyster, Alakazam, Shell... That's not Shallows. That's, um, Chuckle, and Mimikyu. So... Who is he going to start off with, you ask? Probably the Shuckle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take advantage of that. Go Slurpuff. And... I don't think I can sweep, to be honest. Maybe he starts the Cloister. I hope he doesn't start the Cloister. That would be really bad for us. Um, Especially after last Wi-Fi battle. If you guys didn't watch it, this um, Slurpuff is not the best Slurpuff. I'm not going to say why. Maybe you'll find out in this Wi-Fi battle. But, okay, so Nigalio comes out. That's actually very good for my opponent, mostly because I just went into the Slurpuff. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to predict for him to go with the Poison-type attack and just go Magnezone. And even at that, I'm not mad because, let's say he goes for the Poison-type attack, I can simply take it with Magnezone and Bolt Switch out of there. And because I threatened this thing, oh, Toxic Spikes, is he a hazard setter? This this, this, pro, this team probably has the... I'm gonna I'm just gonna threaten it with a flash cannon. I'm gonna try to take this thing out. But he has the, sh the Shuckle in the back. So South Rock and Sticky Web, that's not good for us. That is not good for us. Oh, okay, so it's just still... Oh my goodness. We don't got a Rapid Spinner. We're in trouble. What does he have in the back? He can threaten us with the sticky web. So, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do after this, if he goes into the shuckle, I'm just going to go out into the slurpuff and set up my own sticky webs. So, the reason I'm running sticky web on the slurpuff and belly drum is because, let's say, I can't set up the belly drum, I can at least set up the sticky webs. So, that's what I'm doing here. I hope these things don't make a lot of sound, a lot of noise. I brought in my fan because it's really hot in this. It's... It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside today. Yesterday it was 104. Like, this heat is ridiculous, fam. For real. Okay, so he's gonna go out into the Alakazam. And I don't mind that because... I got the Miltank. And I am invested heavily in special defense. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna be able to take a Focus Blast from this thing. And I really hope I can. I hope I'm not lying to y'all. So we're going to get poison right off the bat, and we're going to take some self rock damage, which is not good at all. So he goes Focus Blast, and he actually hits it. I thought he was going to miss. We should be able to take it. Ouch, so we just sacked our Miltank. It's not like Miltank can do anything against his team anyways, so I don't, I don't mind sacking it off. We're just going to Body Slam. I, didn't, I don't think I had anything that wants to take a Focus Blast. So this thing right away shows us that it's not it's not choice in any, in any way. I got the hiccups today. Excuse me. I really have the hiccups today. Man! Okay. It's because it's hot. I'm trying to hold my breath. Is that it? We're good. All right, so I'm gonna go Slurpuff here. And I'm gonna set up my Sticky Web. I really don't mind us going down to this Alakazam. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna Sticky Web. And the reason behind that, let's say he decides to switch out his Alakazam. It'll be slower in the future. His Cinderace, assuming it's not running heavy duty boots, will be slower. And okay, we take that and we get the Unburden boost and it's not gonna matter, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it does matter because we'll be able to hit this thing with the play rough. We're going to try to hit this thing with the play rough. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Um, yeah, play rough it is. We kind of have to. We don't have a choice. Come on, hit it. Thank you. Thank you. Alakazam is way down there. Okay, so Psychic again. I can honestly just come in into Magnezone, Bolt Switch, and then just... Um, Go out and into the Quagsire. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Magna Zone here. Man, these hazards are gonna kill us in the long run. Especially if we keep switching out. Alright, Bolt Switch it is. If you wanna switch, go ahead. You outspeed me! It's a good thing that I missed. 
Wow. I got lucky there. What? I, I wasn't aware this thing would outspeed me. I'm I'm Tim in nature. With the scarf. That's that's very interesting. Now, I'm going to go out into the Quagsire here in case he wants to go into his own Shuckle or Cinderace. Um, those are the two threats I'm trying to, you know, get rid of ASAP. Especially the Cinderace. Especially that Cinderace. Okay. So Quagsire is going to take some massive damage. And I, I'm going to say he goes Shuckle in here. Yeah, Shuckle it is. And then what I'm going to do, because I know this thing has Sturdy. And I know Quagsire cannot knock this out. It's a contrary one, by the way. I'm just going to Toxic here. I'm just going to Toxic. And honestly, what I can get away with is setting up some stockpiles and recover. And kind of stall this thing out a little bit. What do you got for a shell smash? I'm okay with it. I really am. I, the shuckle get baton pass? I better not be up against a baton pass user, bro. I would be mad. Well, no, it doesn't make sense because it's. I I, I forgot it's the opposite of what shell smash does. So, yeah, he would not baton pass that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm like I said earlier. I'm just gonna stockpile here. You can't necessarily hit me with the toxic. This is just residual poison. And I can just offset this with, um, well, number one stockpile and number two with the uh, recover. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is going to be a long stall battle. And I apologize about that. But I really want to win this, especially after the last Wi-Fi battle. Okay, so his, his poison damage is going to continue to rack up. I'm going to go for one more stockpile and I'm just going to recover. That's what I'm going to do. Stockpile here. And he's going to stay in and shell smash again, I, I assume. I assume. Regardless, the toxic po the toxic damage is going to accumulate. And the shuckles are going to go down eventually, so we're not stressing about it. We're not going to stress about it. So now here we have to go for a recover. We absolutely have to. And just like that, next turn is going to be a little bit under half, if not half. I'm going to recover it up. Quagsire versus Chuckle. This, is, this feels like a Metapod versus Metapod. <laughs> With Harden and Tackle only. You know you want to switch. He does not switch. He's going to play Stubborn, and that's okay. That's actually what I want. There you go. We're almost at full. Going to smell shell smash again. Not smell smash. That would be weird. Um, and we stockpile one more time and we start firing off some scalds. Okay. Stockpile once more just so I make sure I can take some attacks from the cinder race. Event I, I gave the shuckle two more turns. What else do you have in the background? Mimic you and cloister. I am afraid of the Cloister. Regardless, though, I'm pretty sure I can live an attack from Cloister with three stockpile. And it's probably... Okay. What? Oh, that is frustrating. That is hella frustrating. Now what? I can't do anything against Shuckle. This is two weeks in a row, bro. Really? I'm just going to scald. We can't do anything anyways. I just hope I don't burn if he wakes up. Yeah, that's like a 25 hit KO. Sleep talk. What do you have in the background that you threaten us with? Okay. What I'll do here... I'm gonna recover in case he wants to wake up and if he wakes up I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for the toxic again. That's the best that's the best thing I have against it. If worse comes to worse, I hate to do this, I will try to drive the timer down against the shuckle. I'm not gonna lose. I am not gonna lose against the shuckle. We already saw what happened last week. And that's not gonna happen again. Okay, so we just called here. You're gonna wake up this next turn, so it's all good. 
That does nothing, bruh. Choco wakes up. He goes power split. So now my Quagsire is absolutely worthless. Wow. Wow. This Choco set is, is dirty. It's very dirty. We're just going to fire up a Toxic here. And we have to predict a rest at some point. We have to predict a rest at some point. Um, what do I got against this thing is my question. I really have nothing for it though. Wow, I have nothing for this thing. I mean, the best thing I can do is hope for a crit. I can sword dance and hope for a crit. That's the only thing I can do and think of. I want to try to make this battle interesting at least and not just a stall war because I don't like stall battles. I really don't. I hate stall battles. Okay. He's going to shell smash again. Probably going to go for a power split. And I'm hoping for a crit. I really am because I know crits from what my understanding is will ignore the stat boost. I have to go for a stone edge here. Come on. Come on, Virgin. I know you want to be the cover again. I know you want to be the thumbnail. We got a stone edge. We got a stone edge. What? This is a fast shuckle too? Okay. I should have sword dance here. That's my bad. That is my bad. That is my bad. Now, he has a one in four chance to actually hit me with the power split. So I can honestly go sword stance two turns in a row and just hit this thing with the stone edge and hope for a crit. That's the only way I'm knocking the shuckle out. Come on, do not go for the power split. I thought he was gonna wake up, I think. Cause he didn't go sleep talk. All right, we're gonna sword dance one more time. And I hope the shuckle does not wake up. Shuckle, if you love your trainer, you will stay asleep. If you value your life, you will stay asleep. Yes, okay. It values its life and its trainer, so. Okay. Never mind. Shuckle, if you go power split. Okay. Woo! I'm lucky. I'm a lucky person right now. So, what I'm gonna do, I cannot allow this thing to hit me with the power split. Because that's just gonna be the end of Virgin and this Wi Fi battle. So, I'm gonna stone edge. I'm gonna stone edge here. Come on, Virgin. That's two in a row! Oh, Virgin! Why? It's every time I need it the most, it's like it completely fails. So, power split made my Virgin absolutely worthless. We're gonna try it anyways, I guess. Finally, Virgin. It's a crit! It's a crit! I was about to shut this Wi-Fi battle off and call it a video. I cannot believe we just landed that and knocked out the 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 um the shuckle. I keep wanting to call it Shellos for some reason. Shellos is not even closely related to Shuckle. Mimiku comes out. If you want to hit me with that um with that what's it called? The man, I'm just completely sucking at Pokemon lately the shadow sneak that's perfectly fine okay we got a Wi-Fi battle again shadow sneak it is okay obviously I do not want to come into the Alakazam because that's gonna one hit KO us what I'll do I'm gonna go Magnazone bolt switch out of there and go into the quagmire the quagsire so that's what we're gonna do so we're just gonna go ahead and bolt switch out of there. If you switch, you switch. I'm not even mad. We're gonna bolt switch out of there to break this thing's disguise. Magnazone is still valuable to me. So we're gonna go out into the um, gosh darn Quagmire. Quagmire the Quagsire. And hopefully damage this thing a little bit more with the Rocky Helmet. And that's what we're gonna do. 
I just hope it doesn't run. Oh, Phantom Force. I'm actually okay with that, believe it or not. I should be able to take one. And what I'll just do is recover. I'll recover here. And that, I should be able to live this. I'm almost certain I can live this. I'm bold nature and I'm max defense. There you go, Quagmire. I got you, Quagmire. I don't think this thing is running the wood hammer. It'd be kind of, well, never say never. I was gonna say it'll never run wood hammer, especially with the recoil damage. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll hit me with it. Regardless, I'm gonna recover again. I'm just glad Verizian got the job done. You withdraw mimic you. That's fine. Go out into the cinder. Oh, cloister. Um, my boys. I'm sorry. We lost this. Unless I get the burn. Unless I get the burn. If I get the burn, we win. If you shell smash, I'm gonna hit you with the burn. That's all I'm saying. I have to do this. I really do. I have to try. All right. My boys, if I get the burn, smash that like button. You have to smash that like button if I get the burn. If you don't, then why are you watching? All right, I'm gonna scald. Get the burn. Not very effective, my butt. No, no burn, unfortunately. That's okay. I should be able to live an attack from this thing. I should be able to. I believe in you. I believe in you, Quagmire the Quagsire. I, I, I'm laying it all on the line for you. Icicle Spear, we'll take this. We take these. Woo! That, that's easily, we take that, we take that, we take that. And this Quagmire just got a KO against this. It's a crit! Okay, I think I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon, didn't I? I spoke too soon. What? One HP. What just, oh, come on, get the burn. Yes! Smash that like button right now. Seriously, what just happened? <laughs> oh my goodness, Quagsire. You just became one of my favorite Pokemon. Okay. Okay. So he either has Mimic you. I'm gonna go Magnezone. I'm gonna go Magnezone here. I just hope he does not go Cinderace. If he goes Cinderace, I'm in trouble. And I hope he doesn't Dynamax. If he Dynamaxes, I'm gonna be so upset. Like, you have no idea. Okay, Magnezone. We gotta put in some work against the Cinderace, okay? You understand? Okay, so it's not heavy duty boots. That means we should be able to hit it with the Thunderbolt. Maybe get a paralysis. Get a paralysis, my boy. I know you want the paralysis. Okay, three minutes till the battle ends. This one is close. I will take that all day. Pyro ball, it hits me. I'm gonna go down, unfortunately. And I think I lost because of the mimic you in the back. I'm gonna say I lost because of the mimic in the back, and that's perfectly fine. This is a Wi Fi battle, my boys. This is a Wi-Fi battle. All right, so we're gonna go out into the Alakazam. Should be able to outspeed this thing. Shadow Ball is the play. Shadow Ball has to be the play. Unfortunately, we do go down to the Mimikyu though. With uh, after a Shadow Sneak. So we have to go for the Shadow Ball, and that's game. That's cheese, bro. I'm not even mad though. Unlike last Wi-Fi battle, I was a little salty. I'm not even mad about this one. Oh, he's Dynamaxing. My guy, why? If I Dynamax, I would have not I would have won this. Because I would have been able to live an attack from the Mimic You. And you'd go bye-bye. I mean I'm specs. Can I still knock it out? I hope I knock it out. I hope I knock it out. Come on. Come on, Alakazam. If you knock him out, I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Dynamax. We don't. That's game. Why are people like this, man? This is why I hate Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is why I don't like these games. This is why, I mean, I, in all reality, I should be using Dynamax also, but I just don't feel it's fair for somebody who doesn't use Dynamax and I use it in a battle, you know? You know? That's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. And I am salty. I am salty, I hate these people.
I hate these people that Dynamax, especially in a situation like this where you go all Wi-Fi battle without without Dynamaxing, and all of a sudden you have to Dynamax because you you know you're gonna lose. If I would have Dynamax first, I guarantee I would have won though, because I would be able to live an attack from Mimikyu, and I would be able to knock that thing out. But it's okay. It's your boy Daddy Mac signing off. I'll see you guys.